The 20th century Austrian-American writer Frederick Prokosch wrote of the Belgian writer Marguerite Yorsenar that she was one of the three most intelligent women he had ever met in his life that in all three the amazing thing was their love of ambiguity which went hand in hand with a startling clairvoyance. In all three the gift for seeing the unexpected side of things was linked with an age-old faith in the smoldering powers of divination. How well he knew this woman who wrote with a power as old as the ancient Mediterranean world she so brilliantly rendered in her masterpiece, The Memoirs of Hadrian. This book, more than any other written in the 20th century, captured a time and a place in history with a startling honesty and an equally startling literary grace. Much more than a historical novel, it is a meditation on a time and a place and a man who affected much of what we continue to be as an intelligent human species. Marguerite Yourcenar became the first woman to be admitted into the French Academy, a fact that amused her greatly, being by far the most intelligent and accomplished than most of her Academy fellows. In a lifetime devoted to her craft, she wrote novels, plays, poetry, and essays that are among the most perceptive musings ever put to paper. And for all of that, she will be remembered as one of the few artists who so penetrate the human soul and so render it as a mortal. Her Hadrian leaps from her words as a living being of visceral penetration. I was introduced to her Hadrian by Leila Villianetti Kite, a Venetian woman who lived in my childhood neighborhood and was herself an exact match for the brilliance of Madame Yosanar. Thus, when I read the book given to me by Leila when I was 18, I came to know the brilliance of Marguerite Yosanar in the enduring person of my beloved friend, Leila Kite. Lila, who was born in Venice in 1892, died in 1967. And Margarita, who was born in Belgium in 1903, died in 1987. And the imprint of these two amazing women has never left me. And I have always wondered what they were thinking as the cloud of death approached their lives, as approaching mine in my 88th year on this planet. Thus I have written this meditation on the both of them in their anticipation, even serenity, of immortality. I have entrusted these thoughts to my dear friend Marie Miller, and she has brilliantly assumed the specter of Marguerite as she enters the contemplative embrace of her soulmate and translator from the French, Grace Frick and that of the Mediterranean world that she rendered with such flawless and penetrating emotion. Is love all love? Yet love that great elixir all mumbling succumb. We breathe, we kiss, we die. What have I say these years? What are as faded roses upon a bed of frost? What and what and what? The images float in my ecstasy more real now. The linear my skin. Old. Old. And old. What have I learned? 
What have I profited? To now, a dying sun that may not be tomorrow. What lesson will I take that steel box where I will rot, all essence flaked as leaves in frozen mud, the stench of all eternity? What voice are mine? I put on paper to outlast me. You see, she was our lovely Marguerite. She walked here once, the rain, the snow, the foam that oceans leave. She was our Marguerite. And who will say this? Who? All they enamored my work in French or English? those two deflated lovers who do aspire, how beat enunciate. <laughs> oh, folly, Marguerite, folly. You smile the brush of Leonardo reviling death as laughter that are dust. I cannot walk now. I cannot take more breath. I cannot peel carrots, or wash the skin of onions, take all salt and pepper, and baste them into iron pots, to so engulf, to so immense. My voice will speak again. I am this moment specter to my death do so observe as does a dog or cat the steps that do not end. Oh, Grace, my Grace, where are you now so I can come to you? We were when we were young. Where? Wherefore you did so give yourself that I might be I am. I look and talk and think. I kept you in a closet closed. That all your air was me because that for you was love. Was love that I would dream my dreams and you were but the sustenance from all the all of all. I mourn this silent place. You went so well the grave I did outline and yet I did in not silver glass, but flesh. It seem this are but begin another to embrace. The love I have a child my father, till he were also dust. My father, my father. And my father, as he when did that twilight come, and are now am I his dust but in a water glass, while mine will be in marble. What did you think, my father? Think this will were come upon you? As well, you know, as well do I, the shape, the smell, the motion that do not move as air, our walk, our skin, are all we do now done? Prepare this gross lasciviousness, all eyes are put upon us. Are not these words, this comprehension, but sentinel the closing of our eyes, 
and all that comprehension to vanish into fallow air? Are not all this, my father, my father? I seem so now. All have I loved are gone before me as texture stems and ecstasy be. But remain for me to savor nevermore the chambers I have wandered. Are not this of such plan? What differ you and me? the highways of Rome, the rivers Egypt, the stones of Bruges Paris, and here, this desert island, so same, so same, so same. I wonder the cacophony, the melodies, the brazen fingers, what hottened cloth to hide our infidelities, I wonder where they are in face. The pencil, ink, and paper. I look back all these means, and I am struck how same they are, how rank they are in their deliciousness, how noble base ecstasy. They go my mouth to paper, sing, and sing, and sing, I say. Sing all my years what now are ending music. Oh, joy, I feel, oh, joy, that soon I am as they now gone before me, not in recognition, not in pain, not even loveliness, but these where they are resident, any who seek remember. Go near me, specters. Go near the am I am, and there proclaim to now will ever hear, I now am come among you, my work complete, my pantry covered over, my flowers all asleep, that Marguerite are immortal, that Marguerite are immortal. Must all we laugh this juniper parade, where grunts become sheer poetry and tongues trace the lattice clotted veins? Are there we call cacophony, are there, we say, put letters on fine paper and press leather come all as jewels in molten sunlight. These thoughts survive the centuries. How many, we and them, how many, the billion years the skins discovered ecstasy and poetry were born, how many? How many, how many, oh now, I am beautiful, the life now gone behind me to this what little walk project me to eternity. It seem I am in molten life, remember all that beauty I did see of crystal, glass, and silver, blackened ink on parchment line, as if I saw the river Nile, the sun were sudden there. Smile, 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 the water lemoned and lilac dust takes semen into hollow mouths. Take music, music, music and climb into the stars. Where are we all destined? 
Yes, my darling Marguerite. Yes. And yes. And yes. Art this the ecstasy the ancients wrote? Are this the parable of death, what now are in my blood? It pained me walk one room into another, and yet my reason soar to places I have never been, to landscapes as rare the moon, to deserts Oceans, mountains of fine gold. Yes, Marguerite, sing and sing and sing that death embrace your soul and bring you there where flowers are immortal. How do I walk? Remember each decade I have lived? each face that I have kissed, each smell, each flower frozen in pure aspic. My memory will not let loose. They come now me a ghostly roundabout and linger stone by stone for me to pick upon. There are no continuity, no place. No time, no placards in despair. You never come again because you were. You were. You were. Why do the years interpolate from one the other? No reason. Next succession. But I am here a sentinel to death. Oh, joy, I am incarnate that I can so project on skin that are insatiable. What are the sum of me, the early and the late, as if the pictures are obtuse to any but only me? Life and life and life. Oh, what shall I remember now? And now? And now? And Tynus in a field, Hadrian on a bed, the hunger each each other, make way the water of the Nile. Oh, what a death was that! as if all beauty were desert. Silver gold is thighs. Weep and weep and weep. No. There are no breasts, no blood to sing again his chest, but only rot desolation, that beauty are no more. And yet, and yet why should it be so more? Why should the melody endure when air are gone, when blood decrease, when all the words are buried, air to air and year to year, one's loss? And now another soup ingest all they who do forget. When did I roam all places that water didn't embrace? Where did I know the pulse of God? So here revealed a mirror front another. So did I know the shores that inner sea where blood and semen did so create the gorgeous stones of Egypt, Greece, and Rome. The palaces of Byzantium, and even truth 
that wretched place, Judea, Mecca. What did subvert the time, the muscular, the even truth they were to all of us? Oh, you, wherever are you, you, companion to my road, keeper, jailer of my lasciviousness? You, and you, and you. will soon to be decay, as all of this dissolve it never were. Save all those words you once did spit at me. Words writ in a scalded midnight where etched on my fingers, I etched commit to paper. Ha, you knew, you knew. Ah, yes, you knew words are beleft of magnitude. She descended into dust. They say there are a billion stars, what each could be of life. They say out there the silent music sing. And creatures Less than us do water make, uh, whatever liquid do sustain them. Fine. And real and golden in their moon of moons. I, I smile at this. I smile and wonder, child, do you grow? Woman. Do you sing? And man, how do you procreate if yet indeed there are this separation? Oh, but could I see when all of this are known, how piteous will it be we lusted immortality? Shall some as us make language to explain make words to so emasticate the sounds that do come from us. What will they think, my Hadrian? Spent the young boy's thighs distraught, those thighs will wither from all their lusty form to dust, to dust, to dust. What will they think, the canticles of Johann Sebastian, that cloak us all a loveliness we can never escape, as if primeval pulse were in each note he uttered? Grace and charm and life. We cannot even fathom the sound of it as are we all decay? And that is that, whatever place it be. Do I want live forever to hear and see these universe, these planets and these clouds what replicate and daily murder with wanton insurrection the sight I have of it? Oh no, I say, oh no, let others do the contemplate. It are enough for me, the veils, the charms, and the smell of it. I was assailed my life. How can I say it was a lovely journey in the mind of me? And now, some lovely moments when it will end, I have no recompense. I have no recompense. 
I look my aged hands what once were ivory to the touch and place them on my knees where I do walk the places I beloved and say, and say, fate bless you. You did end me, the pyramids, the churches descended in stone, the roads, the roses, the pyracantha, and the lemon trees. I say all this, I see beneath my skin our blood nowhere to remain, but trapped in an aging woman, yearning for her grace. Pity, 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 Marguerite, pity, 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 your muse have let you in the house she will vacate and take with her all things she did so whisper. You were unique. You are. So then, am I afraid these coming hours, when they will carry me from here, that place beyond, and all will wither as dying blossoms in the sun. So then, am I afraid? I must say no. And no. And no, my voice were expunged one level to another, one mouth what enter hell, the sound not mine, shall never be another. O oh, you, O oh, you, O oh, you who are there silent, hear me. You, and you, and you. Perhaps in other realms of gold, we were at once fine lovers. On silk, the midnight air, fine everything, those moments. Day, turn into night and forever, become forever. My grace, my grace. My grace, can now you hear me? I yearn to be you, that you can show me in your wanton pride. Were you first there? Were you first there, O oh grace, my grace? My grace, how long did you await? I soon be free, this skin, these bones, this skeletal embrace with words that all remain. Pilgrim are I, pilgrim with gold my teeth and baskets near my feet so they still blossom, the canticles you sing. I need but close my eyes and whisper to my dying breath, in stop, in stop, and bring me to my grace. All work now done, that she and I are one. I need but close my eyes. I need but close my eyes.